Josephine. Hello. I'm about to teach you how to use a power saw. Okay. We're not going to do anything complicated. We're just going to get you used to, to cutting through a bit of wood, feeling safe, knowing that you're safe. And the way to do that is preparation. Part of preparation is risk assessment. Firstly, I'd like you to tell me what sort of risks do you think there are in using a power saw? Cutting off your fingers. Cutting off your fingers? Noise. Hearing damage? Yeah, no, no, limb damage mostly, I think. Mostly limb damage? Yes. I see. Any others? You tell me. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's a couple of others that I would mention. A power saw is an electrical tool. Mm -hmm. It's got a cord coming out of it full of volts. That can be dangerous. You can cut through the cord. The cord might be damaged. The thing itself might be damaged. So you have to worry about that. Another one is you can get stuff in your eye. That's a big thing with using a power saw. So we've got eye damage, we've got hearing damage, we've got life and limb through lacerations and electrocution. What a party. Now, we've listed the risks. Let's go through some of the countermeasures that we can implement uh, to minimise or eliminate those risks. Unfortunately, we don't have lasers or magical woodcutters yet, so we can't eliminate, we can't get them down to zero, but we can manage them. We're going to manage them mostly with knowledge and PPE. What do you think that stands for? No. Personal protective equipment. Right. So, let me show you the first bit. Ear muffs. With these on, the sound of the saw won't be so bad. We'll be putting them on in a minute. Next, protection for your eyes. We're going to put safety goggles on. Particular safety goggles with foam backs. Because a lot of people have found that even with regular safety goggles, those tiny bits of sawdust can sneak in behind the glasses, still get into your eyes. And it's not just the damage that it does to your eye. The real damage is that you get something in your eye, it distracts you, makes you angry, you lose focus on what you're doing with the thing that can cut your fingers off. That's dangerous. So we're going to control that as well. So first of all, we're going to do a little bit of preparation. Okay? We're going to look at the whole housekeeping situation, and then we're going to talk about ergonomics. Housekeeping means that there isn't all sorts of crap underneath your feet that you're going to lose your balance or trip over while you're carrying this thing that can cut your fingers off. Don't want to do that. So we have kind of swept up here. It's nice and neat, tidy. The lighting is strangely uh, good on this particular spot. <laughs> so we can see what we're doing. We're not going to trip over. We're not going to fall over. Next, let's have a look at the saw. Could you pick it up, please? Now the first thing that we're going to note is that it's not plugged in. Yes. We're going to inspect this and before you do anything, you unplug. You don't want electricity running through it while you're inspecting it. No. Yeah? So have a good look. Have you inspect the cord. Can you see any wear or tear or have a look where it goes into the saw and goes into the plug. Is it sort of fraying or something like that? Oh, hang on. Yes. Watch. Yes, that's a bit of damage. I'd say that hit the blade once, long ago. But does it go through to the actual... No. It doesn't. It hasn't broken through the insulation. But that's well spotted. I was unaware of that. Mm. Um, I would say, for the purposes of today's exercise, uh, we're going to go ahead Shall anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead anyway. Uh, but that's something that I need to watch in the future, make sure it doesn't go through the insulation. Okay. It's just a scratch. Just a flesh wound. Right. <laughs> okay. Now... The first risk that you mentioned was the ability of it to cut through things. Now, the, the main uh, bit of engineering solution that uh, Makita have kindly provided us with is a guard. I want you to have a look at the guard. Right. Can you see this guard? This is the guard, okay? And it's designed right, to spring back naturally into position. <laughs> and, uh, no, spring! Get him off. <laughs> so I just want to show you that we have to make sure when we push that into the wood, and we pull it up, it's going to drop back and cover the blade. Now, that is an engineering solution which helps, but we never trust it. Never. Oh. And I will be showing you that when we use it. You're always going to check. You want double, triple layers of, of safety. And the main one is your own behaviour, your own knowledge and awareness. So yeah, you can think there's a guard there, but never think, oh, the guard's there, everything's sorted. We're, oh. we're always going to check, okay? Now, you're right-handed. Yes. Hold in your right hand. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable with the weight of it? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It is, yeah. Now we're going to be cutting this, the end of this bit of wood for no reason. It's never done anything bad to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Off it comes. Okay. Now have a look at the thickness of that. Yes. 
So that raises another issue. How deep do you think this saw is going to cut? Oh. Well, let's use the handle rather than the blade. Because yeah. even when it's not plugged well, in and not rotating... I'm guessing it's going to cut from there yeah, to there. Quite deep. More than we need. Yes. Now, it's another basic rule. Let, let, you know, that, that can give rise to other unforeseen consequences. So it's better that we adjust the depth of that. So I'll oh, just show okay. you how to do that. Yeah. And as I sorry to yeah. mention, <laughs> even though it's not plugged in, yeah. And even though it's not rotating, these can be quite sharp. Right. Yeah? So you've got to be aware of that at all times as well. Okay. Now, before I adjust the depth, it's a good time to talk about ergonomics. Yeah? Whenever you're using stuff like this, yes, your housekeeping has to be in order. You want a solid uh, floor underneath you, nothing wobbly or unstable or crap that's going to make you slide or trip. You want that. Yeah. The, the next part of that is you want to use your body weight to control the work. You want to be up high with it, down low, and you want it to be unstable. So you can see I've got two horses here, and ultimately when we cut, we are going to sit down on the horses so that it's nice and stable, and then we're going to kneel on it. That's the, the position we're going to adopt when we cut the end off. Yeah? Okay. But it's also useful information for setting the depth, because you don't want to be doing it up, up in the air, trying to juggle this, this heavy saw. Much easier to sit it down. Yeah. Okay. Then we uh, we're going to adjust the depth by undoing that, yeah. and pulling that up so that this blade is just enough to cut through. That's all we need. Now, without stating the obvious, only that's on one side. That's sorry. Only do it on one side. If there's just the one adjustment, oh, cool. it just pivots there. Without stating the obvious, that's obviously reduced the exposure of the saw blade, which actually reduces the risk to us, yeah, because that's the most dangerous thing in the whole thing, yeah. So we've got it now adjusted to a reasonable depth. It's tightened up, seems to be in good order, yeah. We are then just do a little dry run. Let's set this up here. We're not going to worry about trying to hit a particular line. That comes later, yeah, with a bit of practice. I just want you to feel comfortable. Now we are going to kneel on it, yeah? And we are going to hold the saw here, down the front, and I'm going to saw it off. Now this is a, the most significant thing I'm going to tell you, yeah? Mm. This saw blade is going to rotate in this direction. Mm. So if something goes wrong, which direction do you think the saw is going to go? Mm. Backwards. That's what we call the line of fire, mm. yeah? If you twist it or it jams or it hits a nail or whatever, that's going to shoot backwards, that spinning blade. You do not want anything there. Yeah? Mm. So although you look at that and say, you know, I'm going to have my hand down here, if you hang on to that tightly, your hand is safe. There's no way it's going to leap forward. Saws leap backwards. Oh, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to get you to hold that, and that's how we're going to hold it with two hands to saw off that end. Yeah? So, let me do it, okay, I'm going to go and get my earmuffs to protect my hearing. Shall I have some too? I'm going to put on my goggles to protect my eyes. Yeah, I've got these ones for me. Yeah, you're right. Well done. Good safety behaviour. Should I get some earmuffs? No, no, I'll give you these ones, okay? The phone bags. But don't you want me to okay. get the earmuffs on? Safety first? Yeah. Now, Can't hear we're going to plug in. <laughs> we're going to plug in, right? <laughs> and it is now live, but I want you to listen. No, you need to grab those earmuffs too while you're listening. I just said. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear a thing you were saying. Because of the earmuffs. I'm going to plug in. <laughs> plug in. And. We've been through the ergonomics, yeah? Everyone can hear you. Housekeeping, <coughs> floor's clear, you've got your body weight up here, you've got good stable horses to sit on. I'm going to pick up the saw, I'm going to cut the end off. But the first thing, and every time you use a saw, yes. okay, you're going to look where the cord is, yeah? You're going to take responsibility for it. You do not want the cord sitting over here or draped across the wood, no. You don't want it tripped over, you don't want it catching on something. You always take the time. Make sure the cord is loose and not in the way of anything. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold the saw down here. Sit it there, nice and flat. Give it a little twist. 
to make sure that the guard went back down. Okay? And we're going to wait until it stopped spinning. Stop spinning completely before we put it down on the ground. That's just two ways that I don't trust that guard. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take the good glasses Thanks. with the foam back. Ooh. I'm going to put on the the lesser glasses. Try not to break through the fourth wall, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Good. That was as close and what as I want you to do... Um, yeah. But the point is, your knee has to be here, between the two horses. Can I help? You know, just to make it tidy. No, okay. okay. Lovely. A woman's touch. <laughs> now, never mind the saw. Put your knee on that and tell me that you're happy, that you feel stable, that you're not going to slip or slide anywhere. No, that's good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, next step, I want you to do the same thing. Pick up the saw, don't touch the trigger. Do not touch the trigger yet. Just sit it on the end of that board in that same position. Sit it flat on the end of the board so the, so the blades are hit. Yeah? With your knee on it. As, yeah? Just, just rest it there. Just rest it. I just want you to get into the position. Because this is what I'm trying to emphasize. When you do this a lot, you can do all this very quickly, but you never stop doing it. Every time you pick up a saw, you're going to go through the same steps. Is my foot, footing stable? Is the work stable? Am I comfortable? Is everything right? You always check. Okay? Now, if you've got your right hand firmly, don't touch that trigger yet. I'm not touching this. This is gun safety. Get that point. No, just your pointer finger straight out so it's not on the trigger yet. Understand? That's the trigger. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so don't. Okay. Now, your left hand, are you going to hang on to that for me nice and tightly? That? Yeah. Now you're just sitting there, clear of the wood. Yeah, you're not going to overbalance. You feel comfortable? No. Okay, I just want you to touch the trigger. So. I'm just getting so I'm just not moving. Right. Okay, so I just have to hold you up there. You were putting weight on this. You took a little bit of weight off your knee. Nearly went for a tumble. Mm. Yeah, you, you've got to watch that. So I'm going to, I'm going to ask you again. Are you? Do you feel nice and stable? Well, I'm wondering if I should sit on it. No. Nope. No. Nope. You're going to do it this way. The point is, you have to be aware of what you're doing. Don't take weight off there while you've got weight on there. No. Okay? So I want to see you lift that up now, just to make sure. No. Yeah, so you, you've got all your weight on your knee, is that right? Mm -hmm. Good. Now I want you to sit the blade well proud of the end, so it's not cutting anything. No. All I want you to do, in this position, is just give the, fit the trigger a bit of a tweak, just to make sure it's going to go. That's it. Okay. It does. Yeah? Okay. Now, we, I know you can see you've got the earmuffs off, so we're going to put them on properly in a minute. Oh. But what I want you to do when I say go is put your earmuffs on, yeah? Yeah. And then we're going to come back. Just let, give me this all for a minute. Yeah? Yes. We're going to come back here so that we're actually facing the wood. Yeah? The guard will push up naturally as you go through, but you're going to have a hand here and a hand there. And I want you to remember that you have got enough strength in your arms to win if this thing wants to kick, okay? Right. You mustn't be afraid of it. If your people are afraid of it and it, there's a bit of a jolt and they let go, then that's, that's you know, sure. not, not the go. You want to hang on nice it. and tight. Right. Yes. And then move slowly through the wood, okay? okay? Right. So there's the saw. I want you to put your earmuffs on. Uh -huh. And... Back to here. Yeah, don't sit the blade on the wood. If you want to back a little bit when it starts spinning. No, back, back. Yeah, like that. Just have the toe of it sitting there. Hang on tight, and in your own time, see how you go. Yep, nice point to stop spinning. Keep your hands there. Gently put it on the floor. Always try to put things where they can't fall any further. Earmuffs off. Did you feel safe? Yes. Did you injure yourself? No. Anything in your eye? No. Can you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Ta-da!